I know, yeah. punch the bag and lose, yeah, yeah, lose it. That's uh, but that's what it was, is I felt, I felt safe here and I let it go. That's what I did. I truly just, the emotional part of the, uh, the eating, it was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to follow the thing. And I had hard days. I had days of anger. I had days of sadness. I had all of the, the range of emotions. But it's like, you know what? It's okay to feel all this. Do a little journaling, you know, work this stuff out. But take the food out of it. Just eat for fuel. Just eat to keep going. And that's the other thing. Once that I started doing that, I realized how my body just started changing. And in order to work out, in order to run, in order to do anything, I had to fuel my body properly. I had to have my water. I had to have my food just the way you laid it out. And You gave me all the tools that I needed to do it. You explained to me step by step of exactly what I needed to do, and um, it was up to me to pick it up and do it, and I trusted you. I don't know what it was exactly, but when we talked, there was a trust there, and I knew that you were committed. And so you do all the research, you do everything, you tell me everything, and I just trusted you and followed. It was, it was literally that simple. I eat to feel better. I always just want to feel different than what I feel. And if, if I can eat something and feel better, then I would. And exercise uh, never did anything for me. The few times, you know, I had tried before, it didn't give me that feeling I was looking for. Uh, and when I got here, lots of emotions, lots of grief, lots of things. And the only way I knew how to keep all of that in check was with my food. And I might get emotional, and I apologize. Um, I used to get up in the morning just so uh, run down and so negative. I did not want to wake up. I just did not want to be anymore. And now I wake up. And I, I've got to go. I have things to do. I have a life. I look forward to the future. I am making plans. I, my, life is, my life has changed so dramatically from just February. And it's because I've changed. My body has changed. The way I think about my food has changed. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you I haven't had a cheeseburger. Because uh, Bex Prime, I sure have had a cheeseburger. But I don't eat cheeseburgers at 11 o'clock at night anymore. Before it was, you know, um, let's go walk the dog. Well, I don't feel like, okay, we'll just sit back and not walk the dogs or whatever or go for a walk or whatever. Now it's like, oh, I'm going. I'm, I, I, have to do, I have to do my stuff. I have to um, do life and take care of. My responsibilities. Depression, I haven't uh, been sad and depressed a lot of, of late. It's been, um, it's been totally different in the eating thing. You know, we have the conversation, you know, you meet people that may be older and who have a back issue or have this issue or whatever, and it's just like, you, everything, you can work around. If you're breathing, we can work around. You can work around these things. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, we didn't certainly, we didn't start your workouts oh. out. I mean, we weren't like, oh, I do all this. Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. It was what I could do, exactly, and pushed up a little bit more and pushed up a little bit more. And then you just, you get stronger as you go along. You just get stronger as you go. So but one, I think the 24-day challenge in and of itself is, is, a, is a great tool. Um, your website, you gave so much information. You did the, the videos for how to cook food and all the different information and all the recipes and just everything. You, the stuff that we need to know, you've already put onto the website for us. Well, and the really neat thing is, uh, did what you said and the results came. It, and so it's, that's one of those things of must be right, must be the correct way to do it. So. That was truly lots of information. The videos that you did, the, the tele, the, the webinars. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, the webinars. Those were very, very helpful. So, 
And I refer back to them. I mean, it became, um, your printouts and everything became like little Bibles that we carry. Just you, because you need to, okay, in case you don't remember, it's all right there for you. And that's the cool, if you just follow it, you don't have to complicate it if you just follow the steps. You're trying to change everything. You're trying to deal with all of your emotions and everything's crazy. And it's just like, I just need to, somebody just point me in a direction. And, and then you, what's cool is when in the beginning you start to feel different from the food, changing your food, and then the working out and everything, and then the combination of the two, it just, well, then you become, it's just like, oh, wow, this is cool. And you can't stop. When you live life existing and you're not doing anything, you're going to work, you're coming home, you're eating, and your whole life revolves around eating and just surviving. You, I don't know how other people do it, but I don't have, I've never had really had goals. I never really looked outward and went, you know, I'd really like to do that over there. And um, when I started working out and seeing my body change, I started to realize, hang on one second. I might be yep. able to do a competition, bodybuilding competition. And I don't know what level, but it stuck with me. And um, even though right now I'm going through a lot of transition in my life and stuff, it is still there. It is, it is somewhere in the near, I'm going to say year, that is the goal. I really, really would love to compete at least one time. At least one time. I just, I want the pictures. Because I can do it. I don't know that I'm going to live there because I want to enjoy life. And I do love good food. And I, not, I love to cook food now. I like, I'd rather eat my own food any day as opposed to going out. Because I can hear you in my head. And you don't know what they're cooking, what's in, the, what's in the food or what's in the sauces that they're putting. You don't know. And that's true. We don't know all that stuff. I'm feeling awesome. <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. It's the, um, someone gave me a key to this treasure. I know where the treasure's at now. You know what I mean? I can go back anytime. The good news, and this is what you taught me, this is one of the most important things that I learned that I got that day, was um, it's okay to fail. It's okay to, to skip, to, to uh, drop or not do what you're supposed to because the very next meal, the very next day, all you have to do is pick up the right thing. Do the next right thing. Eat the food that you're supposed to eat and move on. Let it go. As opposed to before, if I failed it at eating or doing something right, it was just like, oh my goodness, no, I can't do this, right? Oh my goodness. It. It's over. Yeah. It's over. No, 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 it's not over. This is my life. Pick it back up. We're going to do it and exactly. move forward. Yeah. And you're going to have people in your life, um, friends, family, that are going to laugh at you. They're going to give you a hard time. They're going to pick at you for your choices. They're going to tell you that you're eating too expensive, you're too picky, you're this, you're high maintenance. They're going to say all kinds of things to you. Or maybe not. Hopefully you don't run into those things. I did. More times than not, you will. Though. Yeah, I did. It and just happens. What I had to do was shrug it off and keep moving because of the simple fact, I know how I feel. I know who I am today. And... Everything about me is different. Everything has come up 10 notches from where I was, so. Sorry. Because this is how they're feeling. And you know that. <laughs> they don't have to stay where they are. They do not have to stay where they are. Just because you're sitting on that couch and you're 300 pounds or whatever, and you can't see your ankles, and you, can't, you don't feel good, and you don't want to move, and you don't want to, you think there's no hope for you. That is a lie. That is a lie. It is a lie that you are telling yourself it is not the truth because all you have to do is get up. All you have to do is pick up the tools that have been set out for you. If you pick up those tools and you follow those steps, it will happen for you. It's, a, it's that simple. And you don't have to run marathons, and you don't have to be a bodybuilder, and you don't have to do any of those things. If you walk, if you get up, and if you move your body, I don't know this, the, the, the ratio, but I think it's like 80% or something of it, I keep hearing, is the food. It truly is the food. Um, and when you swing that door open, and you stop taking the food to cover the emotions, and that, those emotions come pouring out, 
If you need assistance, go to therapy, journal, get healthy. This is the only life we have. This is it. And we don't know how long we're going to be here. And I have to live mine to the fullest at this point in the game. And the, really the most amazing part of it is, is that it's, um, it's a choice. Every choice we make has consequences. You can, you can make the choice to sit on the couch and continue what you're doing, and you're going to keep getting what you're getting. Or you can make a choice to walk over here and do something positive and get those consequences. And those consequences are amazing. I mean, and um, it's not, I didn't do everything at 100%. I didn't have that energy. Uh, I did everything to the best of my ability each day. And working with you guys, kept raising the level to be better, to do more. And so it, it truly is just a choice. Just, just choose to do something different today. That's it, do something different today.